And welcome back to The Factor Uncensored, and thank you for joining us for our second half hour. Now, the Supreme Court has handed down a new ruling of online harassment. Today, the High Court threw out a conviction of a cyber bully in Colorado. That bully, they said, sent a woman he never met hundreds of threatening messages over Facebook. Today, the court ruled those online thre threats actually violated freedom of speech. There's already criticism on this. Some believe this ruling could make it harder for stalkers to face prosecution. Let's bring in our next guest here on The Factor Uncensored, trauma therapist Chow Wen and stalker survivor Jessica Archer, glad to have you all here on the Factor on Center. So explain this as simple as you can, child, to those what this ruling from the Supreme Court will mean for those who are being stalked. For stalking survivors, it sends a seriously damaging message that if you want to get help from the criminal justice system, if you want to get safety, you're not going to get it because today the Supreme Court said you, if you're a stalker, you can just throw the First Amendment card and say, you know what, I didn't mean it, I didn't mean die, I didn't mean F off as this stalker did to this poor woman in mm -hmm. Colorado, because that wasn't my intended threat, I didn't really mean it. And so for advocates in the work that we do, you know, stalking is a very serious situation. It can lead to murder, it can lead to health outcomes like PTSD and fear and, 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 a, and a, a loss of safety for the clients that we serve. Uh, just sends a damage message and I say it time and again to the clients I serve you might get healing but you likely won't get protection and support from the criminal justice system to me this is just another slap in the face and Jessica share your story with us just how bad did it get how all-encompassing did it become to you well unfortunately I've been stalked by a man for 10 years and no one does anything about it. It's a systemic failure of the mental health, of law enforcement, of the judicial system. He sends me death threats and everyone associated with me death threats, anyone I've ever dated, murder scenes from movies. He did one, I mean, maybe eight years ago, he was picked up because he said he was going to murder me and um, blow up local hospitals. When and you hear stuff like that, someone who says, I want to kill you, what's that like? I mean, it's terrifying and violating and distressing and like I wouldn't wish it upon anyone. And it gives me super high anxiety and it's like, you know, imagine if every time you got a notification on your phone, it could be someone saying how they wanted to murder you. And, um, and the thing, the problem is we live in this, if you see something, say something, culture mm -hmm. and society. Well, I've been saying something for a decade and no one is listening. And it isn't until a woman has her throat slit in a stairway that everyone stands around like, oh gosh, all the warning signs and red flags were there, right? Mm -hmm. And whenever he was picked up saying he was going to blow up local hospitals, it was a terroristic threat charges, but those were dismissed and dropped because they decided he was too mentally incompetent to be held accountable for what he says. So how did he ever come into contact with you or how did you come to his attention? Through the internet, right? Mm -hmm. And it's online stalking, but he's here locally in Houston. So and he just saw you on the internet? Yes, and then he developed some unhealthy obsession yeah and he, you know they study you and your lexicon and your friends and he started impersonating me online at one point like just takes your pictures people would have conversations with him for hours and think they were talking about me mm -hmm. or talking to me and people are like oh we'll just get a gun that's not reasonable or sensible. Am I supposed to be? And that's no way to live. Exactly. The onus right? should never be on the survivor. Mm -hmm. The onus should never. Jessica shouldn't have to gun up and protect herself. How about we tell men stop stalking? Mm -hmm. And how about we have a criminal justice system that takes it seriously? That when a woman's in danger, we don't want to hear her end up in the news when it's too late. And Jessica, when you took this to law enforcement, what did they tell you? What do you stand with this case? Is this guy still stalking you, still harassing you? He is, and now I'm a little concerned because here I am, and this is he attention, mm -hmm. right? But for me, telling my story is powerful because it's not uncommon, and it 
it can change things and I know that if I help one person through me sharing this story because this is not fun this is not why I want to be here or discuss like they wanted to cast me on oxygen networks stalked show I didn't want to be the stalked girl right yeah you know but it, this is a very important topic, and I have been harassed and stalked and catcalled and followed since I was 11 years old on the streets of Houston, Texas. I am 40 years old. I am tired. Mm -hmm. I am over it, right? But it leaves you feeling powerless. What, what, what do I do? And she now we have this ruling from the Supreme Court. And what would <sighs> the Supreme Court essentially tell Jessica? Sorry, if your stalker says, I didn't mean it, I told you to die, I want you to die, I'm going to blow you up and I'll come get you, I didn't mean it, and I have First Amendment protection. Sorry. That's what, that's so what it says. And so how do we deal with this child as a society really quick in the last 30 seconds we have here? We keep talking about it. We know that there's support out there for healing. Maybe not for safety, but for healing. For Jessica, what courage it took for her to share her story. Hopefully in sharing her story, her army of friends and supporters are going to surround her with love and safety and protection if law enforcement Absolutely. and criminal justice doesn't. And Jessica, thank you, thank you. for sharing that thank story you. here on The Factor. and We appreciate it. We wish you the best. Thank you. Thank you.